RCG Geek. Faith, fandom, fun. Yes, we are perfectly aware that we already made two other videos about Shazam. But besides Billy's foster sister being a metaphor for the Virgin Mary, and the Shazam powers being comparable to Catholic virtues, we realize there's yet another Catholic lesson hidden in this highly entertaining DC movie. It involves Billy's character arc. When he first gets his powers, he mostly goofs off. Yes, he does some heroic acts, but in general, he's not very heroic. In fact, he shows that he is flawed with the seven deadly sins, you know, the bad guys, and so is just as capable of turning seriously bad as the first champion spoken of by the wizard. Of course, it's all played for laughs, so you might not have noticed, but let's take a closer look. Billy's greed is demonstrated with the ATM machine and all the stuff in the room when he's playing video games. Lust. He goes to a strip club. Gluttony. He chugs like half a vending machine's worth of Dr. Peppers. Sloth. He's just goofing off and being a street performer, not a superhero. Freddie Friedman even calls him out on this. Envy. We think this one is more subtle, in that we think Billy is envious of other people who live with their biological families. This is, of course, not the case by the end of the movie. Pride. He becomes a YouTube star and just goes around showing off. He also has a very don't-tell-me-what-to-do attitude with Freddy. Wrath. Destroying the bully's car. Granted, the bully's getting some sort of comeuppance makes sense, but what good would wrecking the truck actually do? They can still bully people without having a truck. Completely smashing the truck is just petty revenge or wrath. And let's not forget this moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Hey, Captain Sparkle Fingers, you could have just, oh, I don't know, say, taken away their guns and pinned them to the ground while the cashier calls the police. But no, you had to throw them out the window. Now, perhaps we here at RCG Geek are digging way too deep into this. Perhaps the creative team of Shazam is watching this and thinking, not even close, but we're glad you liked it. Here is our point. Just like Shazam, choosing to use his powers for less than heroic reasons is a waste when we choose to not use our God-given talents and grace to live the virtuous life, that is a waste. However, just as the imperfect Shazam eventually chose to embrace his power and fight the seven deadly sins to become the superhero he is meant to be, just so can every Christian repent and embrace the love and grace of God to become saints. Stay tuned for our next Shazam-centric video. Will Black Adam be a metaphor for the Antichrist? Kidding, just kidding. We pitched that idea to the creative team at Warner Brothers, and they kicked us out of the writer's room. And here's the obligatory request to like, comment, share, watch some more videos, and subscribe to RCT Geek. May the Lord be with you.